This week on Starcap, Spice Not in Coma, Son Behead's Mother, Person of Interest in the Slickiana Murder Case Arrested, Frog with Padlocked Mouth Shows Up for Court, and in the Dare Pastor Review, My Wife is Cheating with an 18-Year-Old. Hey Star Fam, I'm Jaleen and welcome to another week of StarCap, a recap of the big stories that lit your attention this week. The internet was once again thrown into a frenzy on Wednesday when reports began circulating that international dancehall recording artist Spice was placed in a medically induced coma after suffering a heart attack during cosmetic surgery. Spice's booking agent Ray Alexander has since refuted the claims. He told the star via WhatsApp that the only thing I have to say, Spice is not in any coma or had any form of heart attack. However, fans of the dancehall queen are finding it hard to believe as they are waiting to hear from Spice herself. And although refuting the claims of Spice being in a coma, the booking agent remained tight-lipped on whether she did any form of surgery and when he last spoke with her. The murder of 53-year-old Michelle Gail Brown has reignited the cries of Jamaicans about the state of crime in the country. The chopped up and beheaded body of Gail Brown was found in her home on Monday afternoon by the police, after it was reported that she did not turn up for work and was unreachable. Her son, who is said to be mentally challenged, has since been charged for her murder. He is 29-year-old Shemoy Brown, otherwise called Shem. Roshan Patterson, the person of interest in the murder of social media influencer Anika Slikiana Townsend, was arrested by police early Wednesday morning. The JCF reported in a press conference on Tuesday that Patterson had agreed to surrender on Thursday. Townsend's body was recovered from the sea in Reading St. James on Friday, October 21. She was from Kingston and is said to have just been in Montego Bay for a brief visit. Sions and Obia were among top reasons as to why a frog with a padlocked mouth was seen at the entrance of the Spanish Town Courthouse on Tuesday. Several onlookers claimed it was a tactic used to silence witnesses in cases before the court. Apparently the practice is not uncommon to many, with even an attorney saying they witnessed it before, but the wheels of justice kept turning so there are no true implications. As usual, the Star Farm did not disappoint with their points of view. Here are some comments on the strange occurrence from the Star Farm. this week. My wife is cheated with an 18-year-old. As the saying goes, small acts fall big tree. A man in his 30s is finding it hard to understand his wife's affair with an 18-year-old boy. The man is certain his wife is having an affair because his neighbor indicated that every Tuesday on his wife's day off, the young man visits. He has confronted his wife many times, but she has continued to deny the accusations and he believes she has now moved the affair out of their house and instead goes to visit her mate. The wife has even claimed that the young man goes to their house to do plumbing work. Starfam, what do you think? Does the wife indeed have a pipe that needs fixing? Or is Detective Neighbor right about the affair? And that's it for this week's Starcap. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Instagram at The Jamaica Star and on Twitter at Jamaica Star. I'm Jaleen. Until next week, keep reading The Star, the people paper. Mm -hmm.